So today we're gonna build a Murphy bed. My wife and I realized that we don't have a whole lot of space in our apartment. We don't need this giant king size bed right in the middle of our floor. So we're gonna try and uh, maximize that space a little bit. Figure out what tools you have, what you might have access to. I've got certain tools that I'm just gonna make them work. For example, I'm only gonna use a circular saw. I should go buy a new circular saw. I always need to buy new tools. I also need to get a bunch of two by fours and maybe some candy. Alrighty, it's showtime. Once we got everything cleaned out, took this old bed out of here, which was giant in this small studio apartment. I kept some of the wood for later projects, but I also realized you can cram a lot of stuff under a king size bed. We'll have to figure out where that goes later. All cleaned up and ready to rock and roll. There's really only two pieces to this project. One is the frame. This is going to be what's screwed up against the wall. Three pieces of plywood, not too complicated. The other is going to be the box where the mattress is going to go inside. Now this one, I decided to put a slatted bed frame, which is going to just add a little more comfort to the bed. Now this bad boy measures out at 18 inches deep, 91.75 inches tall, 64.75 inches wide on the frame, and the box where the mattress goes is 60 inches wide, 80 inches deep, and 10 inches high. Now I'm going to put two cross pieces in the middle and at the top so that I can screw the frame into the wall. And on the baseboard, I'm going to attach a winch with a cable so I can raise and lower this thing with a remote control. Now I don't have a table saw, which would make my life a heck of a lot easier if I did. So instead, I'm just going to use this piece of wood, make like a little guide rail. My circular saw will come along the edge and make a really precise cut. Now I would recommend using pocket holes to frame up this project. Go to Home Depot, get yourself a Craig jig, it'll make your life a whole lot simpler. All you got to do is frame up those four sides, and while it's laying flat on the ground, put the plywood on the inside using pocket holes all along the edges. Now the frame is no different. You're just gonna put your pocket holes on those two corners, stand that bad boy up, and then screw it right to the wall. Now I had to put a little bit of a spacer in there because mine didn't sit quite flush. Now to bring these two pieces of awesome together, you're gonna go pick up from Home Depot what's called a boat seat swivel. Basically, it's a swivel for a boat seat. Anyway, you're gonna bolt those right through the wood all the way through. Use nuts, use washers, make that thing really secure because you don't want it ripping out of the wood in the middle of the night or any other time. You know, like for jumping up and down on the bed. Now once it's closed, it looks like this. Now this is a lawn set slatted bed frame from Ikea. It's only 80 bucks and I got it just to make the stabilization a little bit easier. And I will note here that I had to kind of punch through and drill through the frame to get those bolts all the way through. So be aware it's not going to fit perfect. Now to make the foot for this bed, I used an old floating shelf that we already had, but it was too long. So I just chopped off the ends, saved the very cap pieces just so I could glue them on and make it look good for later. Now for the winch. I plated this guy and then attached it to the baseboard. This is going to give it a little extra security. I also put in a U-bolt at the top which is going to hold a pulley with a cable to run through when it attaches to the foot of the bed. Make sure it's all nice and secure and everything's rated for the weight that you need. Cable comes up, goes through the pulley, hooks up to the base of the bed. Now this winch is probably going to make some noise, so I want to go ahead and make a box out of some foam insulation that's going to allow me to mask some of that sound. Because nothing says, let's get ready for sweet dreams like a train wreck happening in your bedroom. Now to run all this, I'm using a basic car battery attached to a trickle charger so it maintains itself when it's not in use. Now at the very foot of the bed, I'm going to attach this little guy so that the hook can connect and pull this thing up when it's time to go. I also put T-nuts inside these holes just to give it a little bit more rigidity when it's being pulled on. After I got this thing painted up, I 
put the mattress in and made a headboard for it. Now if you want to see how I did that, go ahead and check out the link there to see the video on how to make a headboard. So this bed is super awesome. I mean, I knew it was going to be cool when I started building it, but yeah, look at that thing. I'm, I'm very excited. It was a lot of fun, not gonna lie. You need to make one of these. Like, just, you, didn't, you just need to make one. Whatever your house looks like now, way cooler.